Hey guys and gals, welcome back to PC Building Simulator. I'm already elbows deep in a computer. Where you been? Shop's been open for a half an hour. All right, more like three minutes. But anyway, just wanted to say uh, sorry for the delay with the episodes of this game. I know it's been a couple of weeks since we played, maybe a week and a half. I don't know specifically, but um, yeah, I've just been busy with the family and doing some other stuff. But, I do want to know if you guys want me to continue, so let me know, leave a like on the video, and we shall continue. Otherwise, we'll just do one more episode here, have some fun, and then call it quits. But if you do want to see more, a like on the video is a great way to uh, to let me know. So, yeah, thank you. Alright, let's continue and at least get these jobs done. We have this one right here. This fellow wanted to play Rocket League, right? And we're supposed to meet the recommended spec. But, I made a boo-boo. I did a boo-boo in the last episode. I bought hardware to meet the minimum spec and not the recommended spec. So I'm looking at this now and the recommended spec is insane. Ryzen 5 6 core and a Radeon RX 480G. We are not going to do that because this guy was only going to pay us 100 bucks for this job. 100 bucks. It's going to cost hundreds to get that hardware. <laughs> so here's our first uh -uh. There you go. You get to witness our first uh -uh. customer's been fired. And does he? Doesn't matter if you fire one because there's always going to be another one right behind him. So we're not going to look at that right now. Oh my gosh, you took that computer and ran. Wow. Yeah, that was the first one we've ever like discarded or canceled after the fact, right? And that dude just came in and ran. Yeah, 100 bucks. That's embarrassing. That's embarrassing. We would have lost hundreds of dollars on that one. That's insane. Anyway, so we got these other two here. We already got the parts. I picked them up, put them in the inventory. And now we just have to do what we got to do. Get these out of here and then get some new jobs going. Let me just delete that email. Is, is his email still here? I want nothing to do with that guy. Oh, it went away automatically. Okay, never mind. Good. Leave no trace behind. That's what I say. Yeah, you don't want to deal with customers that are cheap. Trust me. Trust me, it, it, they're not worth it. The cheapest customers are the worst customers, and they will eek you for every dollar and make and expect so much from you too. Those are the ones you want to fire. It's always good to fire them. Anyway, this is a CPU fix. We took the uh, we bought a new CPU for this one, right? Um, it's the same darn thing, so no problem there. Diagnosed and fixed since we did that in the last episode, and we got to put a little bloop on there. And then close down that little guy, because I always forget to close the little latchy. It will close automatically when you put the cooler down on top of it anyway, which is extremely helpful. But let's just do it. Part of the show here. And then the cabling, power to the motherboard to run the fan. And that ought to do it. Can we boot it up? I love my auto connect tool. So nice. And there we go. Awesome. Look at that background. Slick. All right. I don't want to see any more of that computer. And I want to get it off the bench, so let's kill it and install the side panel. And this guy is good to go. Leave it by the door, collect our cash, and get another job. Right? Yes. Right. Bam! Come and get it, uh, the real cheese. <laughs> okay. No questions asked here. All right, so this one is J Bronte of BronteGames.co.uk, looking to upgrade the PC. We bought everything for this, right? I'm pretty sure that's what we did in the last episode. Had all the stuff come in. There was a box of a bunch of goodies by the door when I first came in the morning. You were still sleeping. Uh, but yeah, so I think we bought everything. This guy has dual GPUs in here. Pretty slick stuff. So yeah, let's pull this out first. We're going to take the cooler out because we upgraded this guy's P uh, CPU. And we also need to put in memory. We bought him another stick of this right here he's already got one in there so we just matched it up nice nice and we'll just well we should put it in the one where it's supposed to go and the other red one over here the, the computer doesn't seem to uh, this program doesn't seem to mind where you stick it but yeah you want to put these in pairs and that's why those are color coded like that right all right upgrade to eight gigabytes of ram successful now let's pull out this cpu here this is the uh ryzen 3 quad core 1300 x now, as far as I know, this one is okay. I mean, it does work. So maybe we get to keep it and we can use it in the future, right? Yeah, so if someone needs an upgrade or a repair, we can just use that one and save on some monies. So this is the one we bought for this guy, a Ryzen 5 Quad-Core 1400. And we're gonna put our little dab of uh, thermal paste on there and then close that latch. 
Um, there it is. And then put the cooler back on. It's a nice big whopping cooler. Keep that thing nice and cool. And then the cable to power it up. Fan, and then that, that's it. So we got upgraded CPU, upgraded to eight gigabytes of RAM. And now we just have to boot it up. And of course, run 3D Mark. 3D Mark is all the rage with the kids these days, all the craze. And we have to put the USB tool in here so we can install it. Everybody loves their numbers, right? Nice, big, high numbers. All right, boot it back up. Let's run it and back away. And back away while that runs, we can come back over here, collect our money for that. Up over a thousand buckarooskies now back in the bank. And what do we have here for these other jobs? Let's go and check them out. This one we can discard now. Sonic Monk needs our help. Sonic Monk is what? Some kind of a TV show or something? An indie film. All right, very nice. Uh, but just tell me what the problem is. This guy ripped Blu rays to the computer. Then he, the hard drive that were, okay, okay, here we go. But then the hard drive they were on made this loud clunk sort of um, sound, and I can't access any of the files. So that's, sounds like it's a mechanical file, a uh, mechanical hard drive, and the hard drive failed. When you hear clunks, that means the hard drive is failing or has failed, and he can't access the files. So that should be a pretty straightforward, easy upgrade. You just have to um, replace that faulty hard drive. It doesn't mention anything here about data recovery or anything like that so yeah easy peasy very good whoops very good let's accept it and we got another one here martelli jamie martelli at jmartellimotors.uk what's up things aren't working fast enough do you think you could get it to run adobe photoshop cc minimum spec can you benchmark it to make sure it's okay pc can run adobe photoshop minimum spec run 3d mark well of course we're going to accept it and we'll see what's up but 210 bucks yeah we just don't know what's in there right we don't know what's in there we don't know what's going to cost but just like um we did with that last folio with the hundred dollars we could just say eh, eh, right all right we're done here 3129 big numbers good numbers good good numbers i guess i don't know whoops whoops did i get my usb drive yes i did and i don't want to do that anyway <laughs> we gotta put the panel back on two panels Two panels. Oh, wait a second. Why do we have two panels? <gasps> I think that guy with the 100 bucks, Rocket League dude, we still have his panel. Yes, we do. Oopsie. He didn't even notice. He didn't even care. Took the computer and ran. <laughs> he was so embarrassed. Okay, that one's done. Let's collect the payment. Right there. 240 bucks for that one. I think we made money. I don't know. I don't remember how much we paid for all that stuff. Got some new unlocks here, an R9 280 Gaming 3G and a 980 Gamer XL. And we have a new job. Dear Sir Madame, I'm like 90% sure I've got a virus. Maybe a virus scan would clear things up. And this is uh, not, well, they're calling it a rush job because they're giving you a deadline, but four days is not a rush, especially for virus scans. And 110 bucks for a virus scan. It's just pure profit. I mean, it's our time, obviously, but we could put the computer up on the bench. We let it rip the uh, the virus scanner. And in this computer game, it only takes a few seconds. So definitely worth the monies. Is that it? Is that it? We're clear. We're clear. We're done for the day. Done for the day. Holy smokes. Do we need to buy anything for anybody? I don't think so. I think now we just have to wait. So, all right, let's close up for the night. We'll at least kill the lights, but let's leave the computer and everything running. And now, I'll see you in the morning. End of the day. Here we go. <sighs> Good morning. Good morning. Hope you slept well. I sure didn't here on the floor, but I uh, hope you did. So, what do we got here? We got a replace hard drive. We have a the Adobe person and the virus. Uh, replace HDD. Did we... Uh-oh. Did we order an HDD for this guy? Oh, no. We didn't order anything because we don't know what he wants or what he has in there. So, yeah, right. Let's get it up here. And we're going to have to order a new hard drive for this guy. This is a panel in the back side. 
Don't know what he's got in here. He's got two, two hard drives, a Barracuda one terabyte, 64 megabytes, and a Mortoni Easy Store 500 gigabytes. And I don't know which one's the busted one. How do we know? Let's unplug it. Let's get it into our um, web thingy here and see if it tells us if it's busted. It's broken. Yep, that's the broken one. All right, well, that's one way to tell. Mortoni Easy Store 500 gigabytes. Fantastic. Okay, then. let's. Uh, we don't have to put that hard drive back in. So let's just put the panel back on for now and get this off the bench. Excuse me. Yeah, so I guess that's like saying you took the hard drive out, you did troubleshooting, and now you know which one it is. Because just looking at two hard drives rested in a computer isn't going to tell you anything. I mean, you do have to do some troubleshooting to find the one that is faulty, right? And that usually entails booting it up and fishing around in the computer manager or something, or running some kind of a diagnostic tool. Unfortunately, this game does not have that. So you have to put it in your little webby thing and see if it says broken on it or not. Okay, Ron, can this computer run Adobe Photoshop and remove viruses? Well, we've, we've removed viruses before. That's nothing new. Now, this one is a little bit new. So let's boot it up and see what's cooking. Can it run Adobe Photoshop? That means we have to put our tool in here and run the will it run application where is it all right will it run adobe photoshop and i think they wanted the minimum spec right was minimum okay yes minimum spec very important very important to know which spec you're trying to meet minimum spec it looks like they uh they just need ram so they need four more gigabytes of ram no video cards necessary and yeah we're gonna make some money on this one because i think they offered 200 yeah 210 all we need is a four gigabyte stick of ram um i wonder if we even have a four gigabyte stick of ram we don't have any fours we have a bunch of twos maybe we could just put two twos let's see what they got in here we've got a dfl motivator four gigabytes so if we have to upgrade to another four i'm wondering well let's power it down if we can just put a couple of two giggers in here, we've got two of the same thing, two more Tony Value Supremes at two gigs, and we could probably get uh, match these up right here. See if we can do this on the cheap side. I mean, this is a pretty cheap side, but hey. Okay, power it up. Yeah, I don't recommend this using old RAM, like if you have a real shop, but since it's a computer program, it's not gonna know anything. Yeah, there we go. We met the minimum spec, so that's perfect. Um, run, oh, we have to run 3D Mark. I don't think we have to hit any particular numbers, but we will run it to satisfy the customer. All right, 3D Mark is running on this computer. We, we just have to uh, let it run. Nothing else we can do. Oh, and this is where this other bench would come in handy because we could put that virus scan on this one, but it's still $1,500. And the price hasn't changed, and, and we still don't have enough. Um, and there's really nothing we can do right now. Huh. Bingo! It's done. Twelve seventy nine. Sounds good to me. Incomplete case. Yes, we do have an incomplete case. All we gotta do is put the panels back on. Or one panel. That other panel's gonna be there forever now. I guess maybe we can sell it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's like a uh, place to sell stuff. So let's just pick this up and drop it by the door over here. Double check. It's all green. Yep. Collect our payment. We're good. Uh, viruses. All right. This one should be pretty easy. Let's just do the USB. And power it up and run our application. Oh, look at those pretty fans. Ooh. Bubble. All right. Let's install. And start the scan and finish the scan <laughs> and clean the files just like that. Leave it by the door. Yeah, those are a snap. Gotta love those virus scans. Okay, well, that's kind of a bummer. I wanted to do that HDD replacement, but what you gonna do? Now, before we order that stuff, let's collect that money. 
Oh, here they come. Here come all the new jobs. An upgrade CPU. We don't know what they have. So we don't know what to buy. 180. Well, CPUs are pretty expensive, but we don't know what they have in there. We'll, we'll accept it and have a look and then make that determination. We have a new 970. Great. And upgraded parts. Do you think you can help me make some upgrades? I need 8 gigabytes of RAM. I'd like you to run 3D Mark afterwards to check. It's okay. All right. Well, this one we can do. $190. Let's, um, let's do some shopping. So we need 8 gigs of RAM and we need to keep it cheap. What's the cheapest stuff we have? Probably the Mortoni Value Supreme at 4 gigabytes. That'll be $80. So we're still making 110 on that, right? Or do we have one eight that's cheaper? No. No, that's the cheapest right here. Two of these. Add two. And I think that's everything. We got the 500 gigabyte hard drive replacement and the two four gigabyte supreme thingies. And we're just going to add, we'll do it for tomorrow. You know, I mean, we have to. Well, otherwise, what are we going to do for a whole day? Sit around and do nothing? Next day delivery. Let's just do the next day delivery. Okay, I guess that's it. Oh, I didn't accept this job. Better accept it, otherwise the computer's not going to be here. And we did the viruses, and we're up to with $1,488. We still can't buy the bench yet. We're shy a few bucks. And we're good to go right now, I think, folks. So I'm going to kill the PC and kill the light. Oh, the music's still playing. Okay, whatever. It's just in my head because it plays all day long just like that. It's, it's actually off. It's all in my head. Good morning. It's Monday and the music is still in my brain. I can't get rid of it. <laughs> it is Monday, right? Yeah. Yes, it's Monday. That music has been in my head all weekend. I can't shake it. And man, that weekend went fast, didn't it? Did for me anyway. So what do we got here? We got a couple of new computers. We got a new, we got some new items in, a hard drive, a couple of sticks of RAM. Let's do one more today. The Sonic Monster. This is the, the hard drive replacement that we can get this out the door, get paid, and then upgrade this bench right here. I want to buy that bench so badly. It'll give us something to talk about and give me a good title, a good impressive video title for this episode. All right, so let's, uh, let's get in here and do the thing with the thing. So we bought this guy a new hard drive because his had failed. It was making clunking noises. And that's a pretty good indication that your hard drive is dead or going to die. And if you hear that noise, if it's still working anyway, and you can still access files, it might be really slow. You've got to act fast. Do a backup um, and make sure you protect and save all of your files before the thing fails. Now, it seems like maybe this guy already did that because he doesn't want a data recovery. He just wants a new hard drive. So that's what we're going to do. But yeah, data recovery jobs can be very lucrative. They can be difficult, but I did plenty of them. And sometimes you're the hero. If you can get people's pictures of their grandchildren or that super important work document back. Other times, um, there's a lot of tears. And people don't blame you for not being able to get their data back. But um, some people are very upset when they lose things that they've had. You know, pictures of kids that you know 20 years old or whatever it's it is very sad it is very sad so back up your files that's all i have to say it's very easy these days there's no excuse just do an online backup we don't need the shop um they're cheap enough or even external drive that some of them are just plug and play you plug it in it does a backup and you're good to go okay we're done here collect pc ready to boot what, what, what's all this red um i didn't boot it right Collect. Okay, we're good. We're good. Two hundred twenty bucks. Let's discard that, and we're, we're over. We're over fifteen hundred. We're over fifteen hundred. Woohoo! We can get the new badge. Hold this. Oh wow! Well, that was easy. No installation or, or assembly required. <laughs> Just plop it right down. Comes with two benches. I mean, two uh, stools. The bench, a monitor, keyboard. And a mouse. Oh, that's fantastic. Now, guys, we can uh, we can multitask. We can have two computers going at the same time. In fact, let's do that right now. I'm so excited. Let's put one here. And let's grab this fella over here. I'm not even sure what these jobs r require. But we're not going to do that today anyway because we're out of time. But, yeah, there we go. Isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? So you can have, like, a virus scan going on over here. 
And then over here, you could be doing an installation or a repair of some type. So you can double your money. Well, not really. That's not really how it works. But it will make us more uh, more efficient, no, no doubt about it. Because in the real world, these virus scans can actually take hours, not 32 seconds in this one. Actually, it's more like 10 seconds in this game. All right, you know what? We're not going to get involved in those emails. I don't even want to know. Uh, we're going we're gonna to cut out of here early this Monday. We are done. We are done. And we're going to leave the shop just the way it is. I will power down the PC. And uh, I guess we don't have to do that. Never mind. All right, we'll see you guys in the next episode. If there is one anyway, just leave a like on the video. Like I said early on, if you want to see more, I will determine if we shall continue based on the response from you guys. So again, leave a like, leave a comment, and let me know, and then uh, we'll continue or not. So hope you enjoyed this episode, and we'll see you later. Have a good day. Bye-bye.